During the first year of my job, I got to go out into the field and grow living forams. Research that comes out of this college is top notch. I really hoped to end up at a place like this. I'm hooked. I love it. I study foraminifera. We call them forams for short. So I have some pictures of them here. They're really small and um, they're about the size of a grain of sand. Forams look like this, only they aren't this big. This is a 3D replica. So I study them for sort of twofold. They are ubiquitous in the ocean, so they're pretty cosmopolitan everywhere. They are widely available in marine sediments, and so we can pick, pick these shells out of um, sediment samples from the bottom of the ocean floor and reconstruct climate in the past. But in order to do that, we have to understand what controls the chemistry of their shells, and so that's the other aspect of my research. That can be done a variety of ways, but one of the ways that I do this is by growing them in controlled conditions in the lab. We collect them off the coast here or other places that I've worked, like Catalina Island, in their juvenile form so they haven't fully made their shells, and we put them in the lab in controlled conditions, and then we can measure the composition of their shells and correlate the composition to their growth conditions, and uh, we call that calibrating their geochemistry, and then we can use these calibrations in the fossil record to reconstruct climate.